Hi, this is the National Weather Service office in Medford with a video briefing on the expected weather impacts and snowfall potential through Wednesday. We've had a long period of rather quiet weather and that's all go changing this week, especially this weekend as we get to uh, get some storms moving into the area and causing significant winter impacts. We highly encourage you to stay tuned to our website, weather.gov forward slash Medford, ahead of and during the system, because we do expect changes in the forecast to occur, and we'll do our best to update, uh, update you there. Some areas we'll be covering in this briefing. So we're going to cover these list of areas. So if you don't see yours pop up right away, uh, we'll get to it. And in general, these seem to be in order of impact, but uh, there'll be uh, significant weather occurring in all of these areas. First, let's take a look at some percentages. What, what are the ranges? What are the possibilities of snow at these uh, higher terrain areas and uh, Mount Shasta City, not as high terrain, but expected to get significant snowfall. So as you look at this, you can see, for instance, taking a look at Mount Shasta City, there is a virtual certainty that they will observe uh, 12 inches of snow, receive 12 inches of snow between Saturday and Tuesday. 70% chance that uh, Mount Shasta City will uh, see two feet of snow and a 40% chance of three feet of snow. So that's how you read these charts. Thanks for uh, someone in the office created these great graphics uh, to accompany the, uh, the, the bars here. And you can see Crater Lake and Mount Ashland, all these locations expected to see significant impactful snowfall. Now let's go to Siskiyou County and also just the Mount Shasta City area within Siskiyou County. You can see at this point we've issued some winter storm watches and uh, of course these will change. The uh, Probably uh, you'll see some winter storm warnings eventually. Here are the key points. This is a long duration event expected to last uh, from Saturday into Monday and Tuesday potentially. One to three feet of snow along Interstate 5 and higher amounts, uh, even higher amounts along Highway 89. The snow will begin late Saturday afternoon. The further west you go, expect it to start a little earlier. And one key note is some, some really uh, high impact bad conditions are expected Saturday evening and overnight. We could see uh, strong winds and snow and occasional whiteout conditions along I-5 near weeds. So just, you know, that is potential. We've seen this happen before where we get some wind and snow combined. It looks like that might occur Saturday evening and Saturday night. Into the Cascades and Siskiyou Mountains, including the mountain passes in those areas, including places like Siskiyou Summit on I-5, Highway 140 across Lake of the Woods, Highway 62 up towards Crater Lake. Expect those worst, the, the highest snowfall rates, the worst conditions expected late Saturday afternoon into early Sunday morning. Interstate 5 at Siskiyou Summit will be impacted, and we could see additional snowfall uh, continuing from late Sunday through Tuesday. Southern Oregon coast, different set of impacts here. First, the winds. We have some high wind watches out at the coast right now. And we expect those, the greatest impact, kind of a combination of wind and rain, uh, Saturday evening or Saturday into Saturday evening. Strong winds are possible. You can see the, the forecast winds, not just for the coast, but a lot of winds across the forecast area. And additionally, moderate to heavy rain. So visibility could be very poor during this period of time and strong winds, especially in exposed areas of Highway 101. M additional heavy rains possible on Monday as well. <laughs> East of the Cascades, the first impact in time 
will be the strong wind potential Saturday and also moderate to heavy snow, Highway 97, kind of the uh, north of Klamath Falls around the Schmalt area, significant snowfall there. There's a winter storm watch out there right now. One key thing to note is the winds this could last several days. We're expecting it to be windy over there for several days. And last but not least, on Monday, conditions look favorable for more widespread significant snowfall. That's kind of a large range there, but, but confidence is low at this point for Monday's forecast. Just noting that we see uh, some things in the data that suggest all these areas, uh, Klamath Falls, Lakeview Alturas, could see some significant snowfall on Monday. Moving on to inland valleys west of the Cascades, this includes places like Roseburg, Grants Pass, Medford, Illinois Valley. Beneficial rainfall. Initially, snow levels should stay above this. Yes, we could see some flurries in the next uh, 24 hours, you know, 12 hours tonight or so. That would be Thursday night. But in general, uh, much of what occurs initially with this storm will be beneficial rainfall. Snow levels will be above the valley floors. See some wind. Uh, it's going to be a windy day Saturday in those favored areas, the foothills, maybe uh, southern Bear Creek Valley around Ashland. Could see some significant wind on Saturday. It's going to get colder Monday night into Wednesday. That's when there is concern for low elevation snowfall. This includes passes along I-5 such as Sexton Pass and uh, maybe even down to Hayes Hill on Highway 199. And even some potential for all the way down to valley floor. So just to give you an idea, the data suggests right now that there's about 30% chance of one inch of snow in Medford Tuesday and Wednesday. So, uh, you know, it's more likely to not see that, but there is 30% chance for that to occur. So please, again, stay tuned. There is, here's the snowfall forecast the official forecast from the Weather Service, Saturday through Sunday. And I want you to note that there is going to be additional snow after Sunday. So this just represents a portion of the uh, active weather pattern. What could change the forecast? Just want you to hear, you can read these, these bullet statements about, uh, you know, how, how much this front stalls, the location of where it occurs, um, how long it remains kind of in the same place, how strong the front uh, becomes as it pushes southward in the Mount Shasta area. So some things, this, there remains a little bit of uh, uncertainty regarding the forecast, so please stay tuned and just kind of giving you the, the ideas behind what, what could change this. So again, please stay tuned to the weather uh, forecast, weather.gov Medford, and we'll, we'll keep the forecast updated there and any other briefings as well. I want to end with some safety tips. So again, now is the time to prep this. The, our advice is to not travel during the heaviest snow, of course, but if travel is necessary, absolutely necessary, then, uh, then please uh, take into account preparing your winter safety kit now. That is all we have from the Weather Service Office in Medford. Thank you for your time and uh, be safe.